I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe what I'm gonna tell you even happened. What's up socials, happy social Thursday. I was listening to a podcast this week, absolutely riveted by the guest. And that takes a lot. No offense to all you podcast guests out there. But this is a very reputable podcast and the guest was absolutely a thought leader and brilliant and exciting and made me want to take action steps and it was all good things happening all the time. The whole episode. I think I might even go back and listen to it again. And isn't that such an exciting time when you've learned about someone new who has really good ideas and might actually take you to the next level in your authority because of the advice they have to give you and you're like, man, I want to know you. And then you get to the end of the episode and that's your time as the guest to share how people can find you in all the places anywhere online. My personal choice to deliver at that point is my website. Obviously. But let's just say you want people to just attend a party that they're already planning on going to and getting to know you there. And say you want to send them to Twitter. Well, this particular interview, uh, the guy said, look, just follow me on Twitter. Gave his Twitter handle like he was just the tweetiest tweet tweet of the whole wide world. All good. Went to his Twitter profile and oh my god. He has 12 tweets, maybe 18 total. Been on the platform since 2011. Definitely has an updated avatar, but has a two word bio. Two words. Two whole words. After he said so many brilliant freaking words on that podcast and just gave me tons of advice that I plan to go implement and I'm like, okay, well, I guess your authority stops here. I'm sorry, but if you are going to invite people to take an action step, please have a plan of how you are going to engage them or just retain them going forward. That's why I send people to my website. It's ready to go in terms of sign up for my email list, check out my videos, tons of stuff. But if you're gonna send people to Twitter, show people that you actually use the platform in an engaging and personable way and you can explain who you are in 140 characters or less, but more than two words, please. Moral of the story here is don't send people to a place just because you think it's most convenient if it's not the best representation of your brand. That was such a detractor in his authority for me because it's such a small thing that you can do that I don't even remember his name now, but I only remember the advice that he gave. Don't let that happen to you. Fill out your Twitter profile. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Hey, go click over there. You'll get a free guide if you do. Just click on over and you'll get the five things you need to know before you create your first video blog so you can be cool like me. You know, Amy Schmidtower from SavvySexySocial.com. You know that because I know how to explain who I am when I send you to go do things, don't I? That's fun. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, but on the podcast, Marketing Lifestyle Show, tune in on iTunes. I will be there with a great interview. I hope you'll listen and then back here for videos and more fun next Tuesday.